you ever want to build a, a CNC simulation, that way you can see the shape and profile of the bit that you're using. Say you're using this round over here. So you have to build it, and then you have to put it in two parts. You have to do your cutting head, and then you got to do the, the shaft of your, your bit. So also what you have to do is you have to go to your second one, which is your shaft, and you have to do it just like this, non-cutting, non-underscore cutting. So what that's going to do is in your tool management, it's gonna turn this shaft red and the cutting edge is gonna turn green. So then after you've done that, and you're in this area here again, you have to save your profile in the export list of contour elements. So what you're going to do is you're going to change this to TLG. You're going to come down here, you're going to change this to KTR, and then you're going to save it. I saved it as 25B bit right here. Okay. So after you've done that, you're going to go to your CNC simulator. Then you're going to go to simulation, and you go to machine configuration. Once you're machine configuration, you're going to go to tools, then you're going to look up whatever tool that, you, that, that you're trying to use. So right here, I have quarter inch bead bit. You're going to hit this. Then you're going to hit the little icon with uh, the save. You're going to hit that. And then you're going to go and you're going to look up and make sure in your, your KTR. Then you're going to go and put your 25 bead bit and it's going to come out here like this. And then that's your profile that you just built in Woodwop. Then you're going to save it. Then you're going to run your CNC simulation with the tool installed in the CNC. Then what that's going to allow you to do is actually, let's see, let's play this. So what it's going to do is going to allow you to actually see what you're cutting. Because if you don't, you're just going to have straight lines if you don't put whatever contour you have on it. So it builds it funny like that because it's just weird like that. Even though my shaft was straight up and down and it doesn't come to a taper. So I'm in here. As you can see, but it's it's a little wonky. It doesn't do everything perfectly how it needs to. So once you've laid it out, it'll come out right though at the end. And go and cut it out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pocket a door and I'm gonna measure this for rails and this is gonna inset inside the pocket At the end, this is LDF this is all I had to to use to give it a test run on but LDF sucks and doesn't come out right but it is right 